Hi everyone, it's Terry here and I'm sharing a process video for my layout for my quote challenge for the March Go Go Getaway and this is my quote Your wings already exist, all you have to do is fly So I've used the fly um, kind of analogy and I'm going to use these butterflies So I've um, used a frame that I'd already got cut out and then I've added some white cardstock to that and now I'm just going to fussy cut out a load of these beautiful butterflies from an older Maggie Holmes uh, crepe paper collection so I always leave a little white border to make it easier so there we have my butterflies cut out um, I'm going to I think have them kind of exploding out of the top of my photo I've pulled out a couple of different photos that I might use um, and I'm going to make a, an envelope with this patterned paper um, using my envelope punch board to um, tuck my photo in and then have the um, butterflies kind of escaping out of it so to speak so for this envelope it's uh, a really easy uh, piece of equipment to use just a case of uh, working out what size I wanted it and then folding and punching out uh, the sections so I want this kind of um, purpley pink colour to be uh, the main colour of the envelope and I'm going to use that photo I think which is me post run um, and this layout is going to document um, about me starting running and about how I didn't think I'd be able to do it so I'm just adding some doodly lines to my envelope because I felt it kind of lost its definition a little bit with all the pattern yeah, so I'm toying with the idea of using that other photo but then decide to go with the yeah, the one of me after a run. It was a cheeky little trip to Starbucks though after so there's a bit of a celebration for completing 5k. So I've added my photo into that envelope and my original thought is that I'm going to have the envelope at the bottom of the page and then have the butterflies kind of flowing out of the top. Then I decide I'm not quite sure about that layout um, and I actually move it all kind of on a diagonal tilt shortly. So I just have to rearrange my photo because I want my photo to be um, square on so that it's uh, not at an angle uh, but obviously my envelope where the butterflies are supposed to be uh, flying out of needs to be at an angle so I'm going to stick all my butterflies down um, and the way I like to do this is I add some wet glue to kind of the body in the centre and then I'll add foam squares to where the wings are and it just creates kind of a bit of uh, definition and a bit of pop where the uh, where the butterflies are and gives the sense of them actually flying so just play around with the composition a little bit uh, trying to decide where I want the butterflies I want to mix up the colours I don't want um, all the pinks together or all the blues um, and those two greens are different shades but they're different sizes um, so I'm just drawing briefly around where the envelope's going to go and now I'm drawing kind of tails coming off of the butterflies so kind of almost like flight paths um, so what I want to do is I'm going to draw very lightly on the page um, and then I want to stitch along each one um, and then I'm going to use different coloured uh, embroidery threads that coordinate with the colour of the butterfly whose flight path it is so some of them are straight paths some of them are a bit curly and um, I find it easier just to draw it on lightly with a pencil and um, do the holes and then you can rub it out so I do quite big gaps um, so that it's quicker to uh, create the, the stitches. I don't use a ruler or anything because obviously I want it to be quite free flowing 
as these are butterflies that fly amongst my page. So now I've made all the holes, I just need to find coordinating embroidery thread. So there we have my stitched layout. Um, I did it in front of the TV last night, so now I just need to add some embellishment and a title. So I've pulled out some pieces uh, from some older crepe paper collections in the kind of same colourways as the as what I've used for the butterflies. So I'm, I'm using this tag that's kind of a market admission tag and I'm going to pull out lots of different things. So there's this uh, thicker embellishment and a lovely kind of yellow floral that I just want to use to kind of mount my uh, envelope to the page because it does feel a little bit at the moment like it's flying. So to draw in that that flower um, elsewhere I've pulled in another um, thicker element that's a frame and I've just tucked that into the envelope because I left it open so that I could tuck lots of bits in if I wanted to. So I'm just pulling out lots of different things looking at what I've got so I decide that my titles I want to include this um, thicker word that's uh, glittery that says that's you um, and so I'm gonna call it be you because that's kind of what I wanted uh, to express on this page So I've pulled out an older white um, Dear Lizzie foam thicker alpha just to add the B um, and then I'm just going to add in some small hearts here and there um, to pull in that glitteryness uh, from the from the title so that it's not just on its own. And I'm going through some really old chipboard, um, it's all Maggie Holmes and that's one thing I, I quite like about her collections is they do generally work well together so I've got this 365 and um, so I'm just kind of working out where to put it so I'm just going to tuck it in there under um, that tag I don't mind that it's covering over my photo um, too much because I just need you to be able to see me it's not about the coffee um, it's about me so I've just pulled out some more stickers and I've got this little kind of green mint coloured heart uh, sorry, bow um, that came on that pack with the hearts as well um, and it's a nice, it's that same green that's in the butterflies at the top so I just wanted to pull a bit of that down um, into the bottom right hand corner of the layout as well. So I've just tied in some blue thread in the top of, uh, of that just to add a bit of uh, interest otherwise uh, I can't stand something to have a hole in whether it be a tag or something it just looks like it's meant to uh, dangle. So I pulled out a, a little word sticker that says today so I've just put that under my title um, and now I'm just playing about with what I want to do with that bit at the top and I found this teacup little ephemera piece um, and obviously my name starts with a T so I thought that worked really well um, and I thought it would be a good place to actually do some hidden journaling ideally I should have thought about this um, before I started the layout uh, but it's kind of just how it progressed um, so I'm making it so that there's a little pocket that it can slide in behind my photo so I'm just finishing off with some yellow Nouveau drops and I'll do my journaling in private and that's my finished layout Thanks for joining me.